Griff yeah. says, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, baby boy, how are you? Stronger than ever. Yeah? He's doing I, great. I miss you so much. Showing his muscles. Yeah, even though I know you're here. He says, I'm there all the time. I know he you're says, sometimes too much. He says, yeah. you probably need a little bit of more alone time. He goes, but I promise I'll be there when Dylan moves out. Okay. Okay. He says, I'm trying to get him out of the house. Yeah. Dylan's doing good in uh, baseball. I don't want him to leave before baseball. Really good. I'd die if he left before baseball, gee. No, mom, you wouldn't die. That boy has to learn how to live. Yeah. You're going to miss him, though. It's going to be yes, a Yes, that is true. He said he will be missed. Very much. We've gotten cl a lot closer. And I think a lot of it's your help, so thank you. He said, you're welcome. Yeah, needed that. I wasn't sure that day would ever come. Yeah. Your mom says hello. Her. Hi, mom. I love you. Peggy. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> Father-in-law. Hi, Carl. Uncle Roger. Roger, I love you. My family team. Oh, um, mom's mom. Your grandmother. Hi, Grandma Jane. She waves. Um, I love her. Junior is here with... Junior? Yeah. Football guy. Tell me he please brought Grant Feasel. If you didn't bring him, can you get him? <laughs> well, there's two people with him. Okay. There's three football players. Okay. Well, if he's a football player. He is. Grant he Feasel's is. a football player, yeah. I have a Caucasian man. Yes. And I have a um, black man. Okay. Well, Grant Feasel was um, a huge, huge guy. I think he was a played on the line somewhere, I believe, but... His wife is like a huge, huge CTE advocate and posts every day about it. But she asked me to ask about him, Junior, because he never comes to the readings and uh, her kids don't speak to her. The whole family fell apart because of CTE. Oh, my God. He drank Junior himself says, to death, but yeah. I've got it covered. Okay, good. Because she always asks me, she says, I wish Grant would come. And I go, oh, he hasn't been around, but I'm sure he's proud of the work you're doing. He said, my wife's a beast. Yeah. But he said it in such a complimentary kind of a right. way. I don't think right. I can repeat it like that. Right. My wife's you have a to be beast. proud of her. He is. Yeah. She has said more to people's faces than anybody else has done. He said she will not give a damn. And he says we need more people speaking up like this. Mm -hmm. Well, he's just talking. Is that okay if he just talks for a little bit? He's oh, saying he didn't get any help. He didn't get any help. None, yeah. And he's telling me again, I got no help. Like, he's, mm -hmm. <laughs> we heard you. Mm -hmm. He said it was a disappointment because we all knew something was going on, but we didn't know where to, oh, so he must have been a while ago, huh? Yeah, he has a similar story to Eric and I, like they were childhood sweethearts. He had other choices in life and he went to football and they didn't know what was happening. They knew something was going on, but he couldn't stop drinking. And that's part of the CTE. Like you, it, it you know, you're just trying to numb or medicate or whatever, self-help. And um, mm -hmm. the whole family blew up. And I think, I think she left him, but she regrets that because, but we didn't know what it was. We didn't know what was happening and her children won't speak to her over it. And it's been like years since her children would speak to her. He and said she had, had to leave me. He said I was not giving her any other option. Right. And he says, and I don't blame her for turning her back on me. Right. He says, I don't even know how she stayed that long. Right. And Do you see how much she loves you and how it's just a relief for us women to find out what it was? Yes. Even though it doesn't bring you back, it gives us, it's like us seeing God before our time and seeing what happened to our life with uh, Dr. Amalo telling us what it was. Yeah, he has a lot of, he's talking about having a lot of gratitude and peace. Yeah, good. He says, but we need bigger voices now more than ever. Right. There doesn't need to be any more fallen men. If they don't He's, say the name, are we going to see more fallen men, Grant? Yes. Yes. 
he's a funny guy. Yeah. He yeah. goes, I bet, I bet, I, I like it. He'll repeat words. I bet, I bet if women were playing football and they were getting injured like this, he says, this shit would have been healed by now. Right. <laughs> this shit would have been all over the news and cared for. But right. No. He says, men are running the game. Wow. <laughs> Your boy, junior is cracking up. But it's true, you guys. It's so true. And we're going to be the ones that change it or bring it down or something. <laughs> Uh, he said yes. Junior's agreeing with him. Yeah, There's a lot of like amening happening here. Right, right, right. <laughs> What's going Can we on? Get an amen. Can we yeah, get... it's like that. Yeah. And where your wife lives in Texas, it's like a religion. So people look at her like she's crazy for wanting to do anything to change football. In Texas, they're probably just like, let them die. We love this game. This is part of our culture. You're not going to change it. Wow. He is regretting that um, the kids haven't softened up to see her side of the relationship. Yeah. Not even her side of the story, just her side of what the relationship was. And he says, I give them a few more years before they really understand. They're, they're grown couple. people. Yeah, they are. Do you think that they will have contact with her before she dies? Yes. Okay. Are you trying to facilitate that, Grant? Yes. God, that's hard when kids blame parents, you know? He understands that, yeah. He's finding what's more difficult is that absolute that they put on the blame. You know, like, that's the end of the story. Period. He goes, I, I'm trying to break through that. I want them just to see a possible another way. That's it. Right. He holds no hard feelings towards his wife. Like I said, she, he has nicknamed her like the beast. Like, mm -hmm. Did you become stuff. possible to live with, Grant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an understatement? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's a yes. Um, yeah. But just the way the boys handled it just then is pretty funny. Yeah. How could, you guys are making light of it. I know. <laughs> he says, Junior goes, we have to. Right. He kind of looks at me like I'm nuts. You know, what, you know what's so weird, you guys, is because the magnitude of how much everyone doesn't get it. Look at the beautiful men in front of you, Jamie. Like, they had everything to live for. So to say that they weren't sick is crazy. I get your point on that. Like they had the world, what the American dream in parentheses, beautiful wives, beautiful kids, financially okay, or capabilities of being okay, just from their names alone. If they weren't at the time they died, that's, that's different. That came along with the disease, but they had, <laughs> it's maddening. Like I put on Facebook the other day, I put, you would have thought there would have been a riot when Junior Seau killed himself. But the game is just going on like nothing happened. I mean, he is a big name, Jamie. Is like, he really? it makes no sense. Like, who do they want to go down next? Tom Brady? I mean, who's going to wake everybody up, you know? It's really sad because it has to be. It's like you think one life with even not a popular name would have it looked into. But, I mean, do you and yourself, he was a household name. And if that didn't shake things up, what's going to, you know? Sorry, Grant, you're a household name too, but. Uh, he didn't take offense. They're talking that there is a clause in the contract where players can't talk about their CTE injuries. Oh my God, they're adding that? I would not be shocked at all. The NFL's adding that when they sign now? Yeah, there's some clause of how it's managed, publicized. It, it, just the fact that there's some verbiage that states how they are to manage their injury well-being is, is insane. A, but for them to pinpoint that one area. So is there is... Talking? Yes, thank you. Okay. 
there is damage control now on the front end. And he started talking about this when you mentioned Tom Brady, because there's some money involved with players now who have been on the field for X amount of years. Uh -huh. You might call it a bonus. Uh -huh. But I think the bonus comes with, a, do you call it a contingency? Yes. Where you can't say X, Y, Z about such and such. Here's the bonus for playing. Right. There's Junior, hush, do you call it hush money? Yes. Junior, is that a new implement they're putting in contracts for the guys playing today? And is it while they're playing or is it a lifetime commitment? Um, he's saying when you read it, it sounds as if it's while you're playing, but the reality of it is a lifelong commitment. Uh -huh. So if something were to come up, then NFL would have the right to say, Hey, you signed this and you can't say anything about it. Like you gave that right away. I don't see it being in everybody's contract that's on the field right now though. Uh -huh. So it's gotta be what you would say, like some of the newer, newer people. Right. Yeah, it's damage it's, control going forward. Right, it's verbiage that doesn't even read real clear like that. So you'd read it and you go, what? So you don't want me to talk to so-and-so about an injury? Fine, you know? It doesn't read like that is what they are trying to cover up. But I see that the ones that are on the field much longer are now kind of getting a little bit of um, hush money. Like they're actually talking to the players about it. Isn't that sad? I would they're, like. They're big pharma, every bit as big as big pharma. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I'm tell my, Grant, tell my baby I said hi. Oh, he sees me texting her. Okay. Shut says, up. Are you really texting? Yeah, yeah. Grant, she says she loves you. He, wow. I'm telling him he saw me texting you and said, tell my baby I said hi. Jamie is dying laughing. <laughs> Tell her she's doing really good. Okay. He said, tell you, you are doing really, really good. Isn't that funny how he saw me? I said, I'm talking to Grant right now. He's funny. She goes, he's sweet too. I go, yeah, sweet too. Junior sales with him. She said, ah, I said, he said, you're a beast. I said, I wish you could listen right now. And, um, uh, she, oh no, she's gonna make me cry now. She said, Grant, oh, she said, uh, tell him I'm so sorry. I never understood. Tell him that, please. Tell him I'm sorry. I didn't understand. I'm trying my best to help get the word out about brain injuries. He's nodding his head. Wow. He says, you didn't need to understand then. He says, I, I, I couldn't teach you what it was. It, say it again. It was like owning a demon, but you didn't know where you put him. Like, um, he ended up on the inside, but they didn't know they got one. They didn't know they had one. They didn't know how to manage it. But he called it owning a demon. <laughs> he said... I'm putting, he said he was beyond unbearable. Was beyond. <laughs> oh my God. And they cracked up hard about that. To live with. He doesn't know how you did it so long. How you did it so long. Okay. Right. Okay. So anyways, um, Grant, is, there, is her life in danger by talking about it so much where she lives? Her life is not in danger. 
okay, people I worry will about assume that she is crazy and they will make her to be crazy. Okay. And she will need to relocate if she wants to continue this. Okay. But physically, and, no. But the NFL won't kill me or her or any of these women that are coming out, right? Have us killed? Like slide off a road or something? Because she's the most vocal that I know, Grant, of anyone, of the women. No, I don't see them being, I do see them being harassed. Oh, she said I called him a demon. She said, I am just so sorry. I miss him every day. I'm so glad he's free from pain. <laughs> he taps his chest. He goes, I'm free. Man, the reach on man that is insane. It's like dinosaur length. He's huge, huh? Yeah. He goes, I'm free. She she's going, call yes, she demon. called him that. Wow. <laughs> it's like owning she a demon. Thank God that you're free from pain. Oh, he's I'm very busy. Yeah. Are you, do you go around her, Grant? Do you go around her? Yes. Yes. He says, I have to protect her. Oh, yeah. He says, I don't want her being harassed, and I don't want her to feel like she's crazy. She's not. And her life's work is not going to be acknowledged to like 10 more years till we realize this was the woman who was loud enough. You know, yeah. This is the one who wouldn't give up. He says, just like the movie. Right. She says, I love him. Okay. Um, feels so good. Said, Thank you. I have the chills. Okay. So, um, so Grant, so you're trying to help from that side too? Like you push her to keep strong and stuff because she has mm -hmm. not stopped. Like I, I'm in amazement of her because of where she lives. It's like, it would be like Jamie talking against religion in the Bible Belt. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Drink to that. Um, right? He says, what if the two of you joined forces? Right? Totally. Totally. Yeah. I try to go on her page and vocalize sometimes and share my story, share my story, share my story, because I know her people are going to see it. Grant says, I'm all for writing the book. He's okay. like, if you pick that back up again, he's like, I'm all for being in it. Okay. And he says, ask my, <laughs> ask my beautiful beast. <laughs> right. If she wants to take all of her posts and things he says that she's done can be copied and pasted over. And that that would be a great collaboration. You don't have to stand alone. Hey, 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 he says, hey, hey. he's really proud of your boy. Uh, the one sitting here, Griffin. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. Is he a good boy, Grant? Yes. He says he's done so much for all of us in getting together and just having a place to be. I love that. Yeah, I he says, him. me too. I gave him back way too early, but I love him. <laughs> I guess he had a bigger purpose than here. Yeah, Grant says that story is all too common with a lot of us. Right? All of y'all went back too early. Um, what was I gonna say? Well, Grant, I love you and I love your wife and I'm gonna pray. I wish I would run into your kids somewhere. I wish I knew how to get a hold of them and shake them. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, thank you for that. Yeah. He goes, it's all good. It'll He's, happen. I feel good. Right. He's telling It'll you happen. to have a beautiful day. Thank you. Come by anytime. I love you, Junior. Did Junior He's have just, anything he to tell me? Um, so Grant's exiting, Junior's okay. staying, Junior okay. likes these groups. Okay, cool, cool. 